In this week's episode, she was brave enough to stick to her passion at a time when it wasn't paying her bills. But first, when it was clear failure was inevitable, he kept on going. Those who attended classes with him at Vets University would never believe how much he's accomplished. Musa Manzi was so poor and desperate, he used the campus laboratory as shelter. But he persevered and went on to make history, becoming the first black South African to obtain a PhD in geophysics. Dr. Manzi's work is today used in industries like mining. One of the largest cities on the African continent, Johannesburg, founded after the discovery of gold in the 1800s. It became the biggest single export revenue earner. Um, in about the 1970s, it, we were mining about a thousand tons of gold a year. Mining companies are continually looking for new deposits. It's a highly complex process that needs South Africa's best scientists. Such people are known as geophysicists. This is Dr. Musa Manzi, the first black South African to hold a PhD in geophysics. His academic research unlocks secrets below our planet's surface, helping the mining industry dig with precision. And the important thing about geophysics is it's, it's a lot cheaper than, than drilling. Drilling is very expensive. So it's a very economical method of looking for uh, mineral deposits. Musa doesn't just play a critical part in the mining industry. He also lectures at Vets University, training South African youth in maths and science. As an enthusiastic student from rural KZN, education never came easy for Musa Manzi. He taught himself maths and science and then passed on the knowledge to his classmates. I remember at some stage at school, we had no teachers. In metric, I had to teach maths, physics and biology because I didn't have a teacher. So I had to go back home, study to teach and his efforts delivered extraordinary results. He matriculated in 2000 with six distinctions. Imagine achieving this with so few teachers. A year later, he packed his bags and went to Johannesburg, wanting to enroll at Vets University. The only man I had in my pocket was 100 Rand to take what you call city to city back then to get to Johannesburg with a bag because I didn't know I had to apply. But Musa's hard work in high school was about to pay off. With several distinctions behind his name, Vets couldn't reject a student of his caliber. I did apply and I got financial aid. I was put at rest and all kinds of stuff. So I got to do my first year. As a domestic worker, Musa's mother could only give her son small change. So his lecturers and friends helped him with other expenses. I heard about Musa's story in dribs and drabs, but it's not something you can just go up and ask somebody, you know, are you struggling? Do you need help? But Musa's situation was about to get worse. Back home, his mother, sister, and brother died within a month, leaving his two nieces behind. With no one to take care of them, they came to live with Musa on campus. It was a very difficult thing to do 
But because I had told myself that I would never let the past destroy my future, you know, and that's one thing I had in mind that no matter what it costs, I will get where I want to go. The university eventually found out about the two little girls in Rez immediately terminating Musa's accommodation. This too didn't deter Musa. He stayed after class, sleeping overnight in the laboratory with his nieces. Until one of his classmates found out and offered to help. It wasn't even my heart or my mind making the decision. It was like in my spirit, I just felt that this guy needed, um, needed something. So I, I just said, okay, I'm, I'm phoning my mom right now. They treated me like their own, like their own son. The support they gave me. After I had moved to my mom's place, the white mom's place, there was never a single exam that I wrote. She was not waiting for me outside the exam room. When Musa and his nieces moved in with Celeste's family in Northcliffe, he could now focus fully on his studies. His incredible understanding of maths and science attracted the attention of Vetus Geophysics Department. We are always trying to recruit students for geophysics, and um, because geophysics, it's a difficult topic, covers math, physics, and geology, and Musa had the background, um, certainly the physics and the math, to do it. Musa immediately became hooked on the subject going all the way to honors before completing his master's degree in 2011. Today, Dr. Musa Manzi is the first black South African to qualify with a PhD in geophysics. His never say die attitude is the reason he was never destroyed by his painful circumstances. You never know how someone's going to take the way that you help them. You never know. But he's really taken everything that he's been given and he's gone forward and he said, you know what, I've got all the opportunity in the world. Dr. Manzi has made a conscious decision not to join the corporate world for now. He wants to contribute not only in research, but also to help produce South Africa's new generation of scientists. Send us your feedback and let us know what you think. Against all odds at enca.com. You can also be in touch with us on Twitter and Facebook. When we return, by the time she turned 25, she'd already written five books.